Hello everybody. Just wanted to do a quick update on where my Kursk um, build is. This will be the third update in the series. And as you can see, the construction of the Tamiya Stug 3 is complete. And uh, primed as well. I've also got the, the wheels. Uh, here we have the return rollers. Oops, sorry. Drive sprockets, idlers. All primed as well and ready to go. And you'll notice the primed color. Uh, I posted this on Google Plus a couple of days ago, so I used the, you know, the infamous um, primer that shall not be named. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to give it a shot. We don't do a whole lot of masking as armor builders, so I wasn't really concerned about that. And I've, it's already been curing over 24 hours, and I gotta say I'm really pleased with the finish. The color is not quite what I expected. I Last model I did in... Um, was a to me a dark yellow and this is actually kind of a more of a mustard or greenish yellow which is uh, certainly different and uh, but it's primed and the build is completed and I'm pretty happy with it the last bit of aftermarket I used were the um, Karaya um, tow cables so those are actual metal tow cables I ended up using the the cable eyelets though that actually came with the kit uh, rather than um, the uh, resin ones because I thought the ones in the kit actually looked nicer and I didn't have to spend a bunch of time cleaning up the resin parts. But uh, there's the the prime vehicle. It's really uh, this Viejo primer is given a really nice smooth finish, self leveling. Um, you can see where I filled in the sponsons here, but uh, really no complaints. Um, uh, there are a couple of little minor things that I need to do. I, uh, this was my fault, but uh, it's not a big deal, was this uh, machine gun shield, which gets fitted to the top over here on the loader side, uh, but it had a bunch of ejector pin marks. I filled them with uh, Viejo putty, so I need to go back and sand these down. They've been drying for over 24 hours. Another thing I want to share is, I'm really proud of it, is this little MG34 that actually goes where the uh, loader does. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can uh, get a better look at this. What I did is I actually added um, the photo etch spider web site that goes on this thing. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying not to break it. And I added that 50 round drum that goes on the side of the machine gun. The machine gun actually came with the kit. The photo etch came from the Tamiya photo etch set that's designed as an accessory for this model. But it's really a beautiful little uh, machine gun, if you guys can see that okay. But I, yeah, the, the 50 round drum actually came from this old Tamiya German uh, infantry weapon set. I have the, I've had this thing since the early 1980s, since I was a kid. So I never throw anything away, but I'm pretty proud. Um, pretty proud of that machine gun. That's going to look nice as I paint that bad boy up, and then I'm going to do some dry brushing on it to make it look like the bluing's worn off the cooling jacket. That's going to be pretty cool. So let me go ahead and zoom back out. There's some spare track links um, that I need to prime and get on the model. That's not a big deal. Um, like I said, the wheels are primed and ready to go. I'm still going to paint the model. The purpose of the primer is to give you a nice base for weathering effects and to add your layers of color. So I've decided that I'm going to paint this entire model with uh, Viejo acrylics um, from primer on up. And uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing to the uh, the model is I'm going to be doing pre-shading also with the uh, Viejo primer. That's what I normally use. And uh, then I will go back and spray in the base color. And then there will be a uh, striped camouflage pattern using an olive green color. That's the only color I did not have, and I've ordered it, and it's on the way. And um, But that's really pretty much it. Uh, really nice little detailed model, and uh, the uh, photo etch accessories um, I enjoy putting on. You know, like the, I've mentioned this before, the, the, the Caliber 35 smoke dischargers were a nice touch, I think. But um, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, getting close uh, to the you know the final stages, so this is going to be um, a Kursk vehicle, of course. Obviously, that's that's the build it is. I got this set from AK to do um, the weathering with, and uh, there's some Kursk 
you know, dust effects and stuff in here that I'll be using on the model. I'll probably also do some minor streaking. Um, I don't think there would be a lot of chipping because these vehicles would have been new in July of 1943, just delivered to the front. So uh, you're not going to see a lot of chipping on this model. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just kind of wanted to share that with you guys just to give you a quick update. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, I hope you uh, you guys enjoy uh, looking at the model as much as I, I have enjoyed building it. It's the first time I worked on it Sunday, then uh, I haven't touched it in two weeks, but I got a lot done uh, Sunday. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Everybody have a great weekend, and I'm going out of town Thursday, so talk to you later. Bye.